What is going on guys? So this morning I have been sending offers out all morning. We actually sold the Toyota Yaris yesterday. This evening I'm looking for another one and um, I saw a Toyota Camry that I'm going to try and negotiate with the person and get it down to like $3,400. It's probably worth about $42. So $800 profit but they're typically quick turnovers because they're high volume cars. Everyone knows them and they have a good reputation and they're known to be reliable. So I'd be comfortable with just making 800 bucks or a thousand dollars off of it. Um, but I'm gonna negotiate with them and um, see how it goes. Hopefully we can go check one out, film the whole process and then get it back to the house and film that process as well and explain why I thought it was a good deal um, a little bit more in depth, but I'm gonna keep you guys updated. We'll see what happens. It's listed at 42, here's the car. Um, here's a better image of it. It's pretty basic, it's nothing crazy. It's probably got the four cylinder in it. Um, but he hit us with 35, I offered 33. So I'm gonna try and negotiate down to 3300 $3, in person. We're gonna see um, when he can meet and then we'll set up a time and I'll keep you guys updated. But guys, so since we sold the Toyota Yaris yesterday um, for $1,500 profit, we are going to request a registration refund. So in Arizona, if you register a car and you sell the car within a certain amount of days, correct? Sell the car before the registration expires, you have an opportunity to get like a pro fade plate refund. So you click plate refund, you put the plate number in, okay. you put your driver's license number in which the car was registered, you hit continue. So you, so you put the plate number in and essentially you just enter yeah, all the information in. 2018, you can see it right here. We got $70 back. What car? But this is on video. <laughs> yeah, no, what's, going on? what's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, come, come, come. I want to see you guys buy two cars in the next two days. No. That's the challenge. I can do it. We're going to look at a car at 3 p.m. Um, it's a 2007 Toyota Camry. I told you guys before that the reason why we're looking at it, if we can get this for $3,200, we can easily sell this for 4K and um, sell it fairly quickly, as well as going about doing our day, making money in other places like the stock market, whatever it may be. Um, but it's really cool that we can do this and enjoy it. So we're gonna take you guys along um, in just a second and show you guys the whole process from start to finish on exactly how we buy these cars and sell them for a profit. The goal is to get two cars by the end of tomorrow. So one car today, hopefully one car tomorrow. And we're gonna look at one in about, honestly, we should leave now. We're gonna do that right now. Here you go, let's do this. All right guys, so we just got done looking at the Camry. We just didn't wanna show like, and make it obvious that we were filming him. It's really hard to do actually, to be like, hey, can I film you while I check this car out? Yeah. Um, but it had all been repainted, and I think the guy was a reseller. So car number one today, kind of a bust. Number two. On the number two, we found a uh, 2004 Suburban, so we're on our way right now. We actually already made the deal over the phone, uh, negotiated it down to 26. He was asking 35, so we'll see. We're on our way down uh, to that one right now. Second deal of the day. Um, there it is right there, guys. I don't think we're going to be able to video this one either, but we're parking the car, and we're going to look at this. It's literally on the side of the road, so we're going to try to get to 2600 bucks. Um, I gotta get off here because I don't want the guy to see me filming. So we'll let you guys know how it goes in just a second. Bam! We just picked it up. 2,600 bucks. One little turd sack down. Uh, we gotta have two by tomorrow, you know, like like uh, Rick said, he gave us a challenge. But they're very comfy and uh, it's an O2 Suburban. So the long wheelbase, LTZ, four wheel drive. It's got a little couple minor cosmetic issues. It's so common on those. The cracked leather on those, that's literally like, it's almost impossible to find them without that now. 170K miles, worth at least 3,200. Um, but hey, I mean, if you can make 800 bucks in a week and your money's either sitting in the bank account or it could be sitting in this to make you 800, what would you rather do, you know? But it's not gonna be a crazy profit, but we understand that and we know that. So it's gonna be okay. Keep you guys updated. One down, baby, let's go. There she is, back at the house, at the Tech Buds house. Hey, they wanted 39, we ain't giving it to them. No, 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 we give them 26, 2600. All right, so we are taking it here. Got the pressure washer. Um, there's a leak in the windshield, so we're gonna have to get it replaced. Should be like $147. I've replaced one of these on a 05 Z71 um, Silverado, so the Cat Eye. Should be a similar windshield, if not the same. 
Um, it's gonna be definitely the same as the Tahoe, but this is the Suburban. I'm gonna clean it, get all the car chalk off of it, and um, you know, it should sell for about 32, 33. We'll keep you guys updated on um, what's the top. So we are literally finishing up cleaning the car. Um, wash, wax, whatever it is, we're almost done. It looks really good. Definitely tell it hasn't been repainted. There's no extra random orange peel or any discoloration in the paint to tell that it's been hit in an accident and they didn't match it correctly. So it's really good. Um, clear title, we didn't think it was. Faded hoods, classic, very, very common in Arizona. It gets so hot here that it just melts that clear coat right off. Um, but we're about to post it, but we also have to register it, but we're gonna take pictures now since it's clean. And then tomorrow, we're gonna register it, get it all set up in our name, good to go. And I think that'll be my second car in my name here in Arizona, um, and I can do three more. So, all right guys, so that is really just it. We just washed it. Looks very, very good as you can tell. Very clean, um, but that's really just it. We are done with this video. Thank you guys so much again for watching. That is a whole routine of what we do besides registering the car. We gotta do that tomorrow. Um, they're closed now. We don't have time. It actually took about I'd say half a day to get this all done. Yep. Um, to potentially make, after this, it's all gonna be um, passive income, basically. We can go about our day, we wait on the next buyer to come to us, and um, maybe we can make an extra thousand dollars, 800 bucks, um, as we're doing other things to make money. It's really, really cool. I enjoy it a lot, don't you? Yep. So, you know, if we can make an extra thousand bucks, $800, um, and we don't have to do anything with this car from this day on forward besides register it, then isn't that pretty cool? Um, so if you guys want to learn more about what we do, we encourage you, click the first link down below. Um, it's what we do on a daily basis. It's what we love to do, and we love to help members in that Flipping Wheels group chat and the, the Flipping Wheels 30-day program, find resale cars. So um, thank you guys again so much for watching. 2004 Suburban. Dirty Burb. Dirty Burb, four-wheel drive, $2,600 worth at least 3300 so um there we go guys that's really just it and we will see you guys in the next video let's go thank you guys